Jones. He was born. We, uh, we lived on a dairy farm um, near Glenwood City, Wisconsin. And uh, so Lindsay, growing up as a little tyke, she, um, uh, she had lots of chores to do. She would uh, feed the cats and the dog, and, and she would uh, feed the little calves and, and all those kinds of things. And uh, so, you know, she had a, a pretty, pretty nice little childhood there. And uh, after high school, she went to um, technical school here in Eau Claire. And uh, she stayed in the UW-Eau Claire dorms. And in that dorm setting, she met a lifelong friend, um, Caitlin. I have known Lindsay for about 15 years. Um, we were college roommates. So prior to Lindsay's diagnosis, uh, Lindsay's life was like anybody else's. Um, we would rollerblade, we would go shopping, we would, you know, um, do extracurricular activities um, at college, at the campus and stuff, and um, any, anything like a normal college kid would do. It was towards the spring of that first year at Stout, um, she started to unexplainably fall. She would get muscle spasms in her legs and she would she couldn't catch herself and she would literally fall to the ground and once we heard of this of course we were just panicked we didn't know you know obviously what was going on and, and we were all very very concerned she had to kind of drop out of stout because of her condition um, although they didn't know what it was at the time um, they it was just too much for her too hard for her and they needed to focus on her health at that point we actually heard of Gillette in the Twin Cities being very good with um, various disorders. So we went there and got together with a doctor, um, a neurologist over there. And um, he did some extensive genetic testing. And um, the first reports coming back didn't show anything remarkable. But as they got deeper into the test, uh, bells and whistles went off and they found something called, it's the first time we heard of it, GM1 gangliosidosis. And, you know, it was not what you want to hear, but yet we needed to know. So that was good that we knew finally what it was. But uh, bad news is no cure and it's progressive. It kind of came to the point where the next step was to do brain surgery. And so Lindsay was just beside herself thinking like, how scary it is to have to go through brain surgery at a young age, um, but also knowing like, wow, this could really be something, like this could turn things around, this could help me, you know, with my quality of life, like this, this could be it. And so uh, I remember she called me up one day and um, said, I'm, I'm having brain surgery, can you be there? And I said, I will drop whatever I can to be there. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, because she was there for me um, for a lot of stuff too so I said I don't care I will take off work I will do whatever I can I will be there for that surgery and I just remember like walking in her her room after the surgery you know hooked up to everything and, and all this machinery on her um, thinking like I could never do this she is the most strong person the most positive person and watch the carts that she's been dealt in this life is just, it's unfair, but I feel like, I, t I keep telling her that, you know, God gives his toughest battles to, to the toughest people. Lindsay's lost the ability to walk and then at, at some point she wasn't taking in enough food so we had to do a, a feeding tube and, uh, and at some point the voice started to leave so it became you know, more important to, um, to just to advocate for her and to literally speak for her. So she tells me what, what's going on here and, and in her life and she can use her phone with modern technology. I've just heard that you know, she's a ray of sunshine. She's, you know, they, most people have not seen anything quite like her. You know? um, they certainly haven't seen that disorder, in, but, uh, but just how she handles it. I am beyond grateful to be a part of her life. Um, she's just, she's incredible. She has the biggest heart. 
the smartest mind, um, although her body won't let her do like what she wants to do. Her resolve has been remarkable. She's a um, very, very strong uh, young lady and uh, we're very proud of her.